Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, back with my review for Bruised. Uh, this is just my quick first review for this movie. I, you know, I might go back and talk about it some more in the live stream, but I just want to give you my uh, first thoughts, first reaction after watching the movie Bruised. As y'all know, Bruised is a movie that's directed and starring Halle Berry, and we talked about the trailer a few days ago here on this channel. And um, first off, I have to say, look, you know, shout out to Halle Berry, you know, um, for wanting to tackle, you know, this... Uh, this combat sport, you know, mixed martial arts for women, especially, you know, because I think this is uh, one of the, you know, it's one of the sports that has like a solid fan base, but it's, it still has trouble, like kind of break into the, break into the outer surface. Like we do have MMA, of course, you know, everybody loves MMA, but you know, women's mixed martial arts still, it still kind of falls under the radar with a lot of the casual fans of like the UFC and MMA as a whole. So, you know, shout out to Halle Berry for doing a movie, um, you know, a drama that involved a uh, WMMA fighter. But uh, yeah, man, uh, first off, my first thoughts on the movie, I have to say that, you know, I did enjoy it. You know, I did enjoy parts of it. You know, it wasn't perfect, of course. You know, it's still kind of like a prototype for, you know, um, more WMMA movies to come if they ever make any more, you know what I mean? Whether they be action-based or drama-based. But uh, I do like a lot of the um, things they executed in, in this movie as far as the story and, um, you know, some of, some of the cin cinematography at times and, of course, the fight coordination. You know, I thought a lot of that stuff was on point. Of course, some of it had the, you know, the Rocky feel, you know, it had a lot of the uh, real elements to it, but it still had to have that action, that action pack pace. You know what I mean? Like the, the consistent punches and the, the beat down from these fighters, you know, just kind of dishing it out. Because we know in the real, real fight game, those are like those fights are, you know, like real special fights. We only get those every once in a while. But, you know, the punches don't really look exactly like that. So, you know, they're still coordinated in that type of way to bring the action to the fans. But overall, I think the movie did a good job of executing a lot of the, the fight moves, you know, um, even in the training, you know, a lot of the things as far as takedown defense, you see a little bit of all of that. So, yeah, uh, overall, I did enjoy the movie in parts. You know, of course, it was uh, it wasn't perfect. You know, it was a good movie, but it, it definitely wasn't perfect. So in this review, I just kind of want to go back and talk about um, the likes and dislikes of the movie. And um, just, you know, let y'all know if I at, by the end of this video, if I recommend y'all to check it out or not. But um, first off, I'll start with the likes. Uh, the one thing that, that really stood out to me that I liked was the opening. You know, I liked the fact that they were kind of running down a lot of these historical fights in the opening, you know, in WMMA, just to kind of put these women on the map and just kind of show everybody that, uh, look, these women put on a lot of good performances there's a lot of historical fights here you know it would have been crazy if they were just so like a whole mix of mma of like men and women but to really get your eyes on the women you know they opened with a lot of highlights of some of these classic knockouts and some of these pioneers in the game you know so that was a that was a good opening to me you know right away because i was like oh yeah i know this fight i know that fight you know to me it's like oh yeah i know all of that right so it'll kind of make people want to ask questions and say oh um, are they real fighters in the opening or, you know, did they go to the, that extreme? No, nah, they actually pulled clips from the UFC and so on, like Invicta um, as their opening, you know, to show y'all, look, these women been doing this for a minute now. Right. So, yeah, I like the opening. Another thing overall, I just like a lot of the press they gave WMMA, you know, um, when she like Halle Berry, when she first went into her gym to train, you know, they had a lot of the pictures up there. Like I'll go ahead and say one. They had the uh, Livia and Souza um Angela Hill strawweight championship fight right they had that poster up so you know of course to me I, I already know what that is but as they went in you could see more pictures of different um women fighters um in the gym you know like how they do it in like boxing gyms as well since that was like a gym where they bring in a lot of women they had a lot of you know posters up promoting a lot of the uh, Invicta FC and UFC women so I thought that was kind of cool um another thing was you know just the names and faces you know as far as the commentators for Invicta FC you know, um, some other familiar faces in the fight game in this movie. You know, uh, I thought that was a uh, good press. You know, they didn't actually they didn't they didn't go out of the way to try to get actresses or try to get a bunch of, um, you know, like models or something to represent the sport. They just actually reached out and got real fighters to participate in this movie. So I thought that was a that was a good way to put WMMA on the map as well and um, introduce, you know, again, casual fans to the uh, sport. Um, another thing I like was the fight scenes. You know, like I said, I, I like the coordination for these fight scenes. You know, uh, choreography was done well. Um, you know, a lot of the fight uh, uh, moments, even with the uh, last fight, look look realistic. Of course, like I said, some parts were kind of you know like action based, and they kind of went 
Rocky influenced a little bit, which is what you're supposed to do for these movies. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the Rocky movies, but, um, you know, this one here may made me want to go back and see it because, uh, you know, just how they were able to put the action action element in there with, you know, the uh, technical elements. But I thought the uh, fight scenes were done pretty well. It's even the even the underground fight scene, like spoiler alert, you know, with uh, Hallie and uh, the werewolf. I ain't gonna tell you who it is if you don't want to know. But um, it wasn't really like a big, big fight scene, but just like some of the grappling that was done with uh, Hallie's part. You know, I could tell that she really went to, um, you know, she really went to these gyms and tried to uh, tried to train with some of these women. So I thought that was uh, good on her part. But yeah, a lot of the coordination was d uh, done well. Even the scenes with Valentina, I can tell that she really did help direct a lot of these uh, fight sequences, you know, how they put it together. I thought that was done well. Um, overall, I think the story was good. You know, I think it was pretty gritty, tense and and sad. You know, I thought it was just just sad how uh, Hallie's character, Jackie Justice, was uh, just kind of thrown back into the fight game and uh, just kind of used like a dog. You know, she was kind of used like one of these race race horses or, you know, greyhounds that they use at the track just to make money. You know, especially where there one scene where he was just like, you know, the person she was fighting for was just kind of like you just a, you just another tomato can to make this fighter look good. Like it kind of reminded me of some of these other boxing movies and uh, boxing movies and boxing shows I used to watch back in the day. Like not like boxing, you know, base shows, but there would always be like an episode where they kind of focused on like the underground and how they take over the fighter. You know what I mean? Like they use these fighters and they come to them with big checks to say, hey, like if we give you this money, you got to lay down in this round. Right. And if you don't lay down, you're going to lay down permanently. Right. You know, there's there's been situations like that going all the way back to the to the mob days, you know, way back. You know, I got a lot of people telling me about that. So, yeah, um, I thought that was kind of a good element here that, you know, it, it goes for women, too, you know, because if women are bringing in money and they have stock, too, you know, there's going to be some there's going to be some hoods that are, that are out there to get that to get that money off of them and they just use them you know especially even like in the, in the gym you just kind of felt like she was lost like she never really had any like solid support which i'll talk about here in a minute which she kind of formed but uh she never really had any solid support coming into the gym even though even her manager was uh was a scumbag right so she was really lost like she felt like she just wanted to be in her own world uh just cleaning toilets and just doing that you know what i mean so um it 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 really did cover some good basis with that that gritty street life there, you know, and then just having that son thrown into the mix and then that kind of giving her something to fight for. So, um, yeah, those are the things I liked about the movie. You know, I, I like the opening. I like the, you know, the uh, press for WMMA. And like I said, I like a lot of the, the fight coordination. The fight scenes were done well. Of course, I like the training sequences. You know, I like watching the training. That's kind of motivating stuff. So, I liked a lot of that that was done, you know, watching her doing the strength and conditioning and everything and, you know, puking her guts out after sparring and everything. So I thought that was all good, um, good stuff. Um, as far as my dislikes, like I said, it's not a perfect movie. Dislikes, you know, I'm kind of a film buff, so I, there's like a lot of technical stuff I could go into, but I'm not really going to do all that now. But um, as far as pacing, um, I don't really feel like there was a good build up to the last fight. I know you might think i'm crazy but i just didn't feel like there was a good build up the movie's like two hours a little over two hours right uh but i just didn't really feel like there was a good tense build up to uh jackie justice and lady you know lady killer uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it that's the uh that's the big fight that she's fighting uh i just didn't feel like there was like enough build up to that like i kind of wanted to see i know she was a an established ufc fighter she'd been away for uh, four years and um I think that's where I kind of needed to see like a build up to make it realistic, like having somebody that just came off the street after four years uh, going into this big championship fight. Um, it was hard to kind of believe that. Like I wanted to see like a couple, you know, uh, fights worked in uh, where she was actually kind of going through the emotions again and getting her mojo back. You know what I mean? And that way they could have included some other WMMA fighters as well. Like I needed to see more of a build up there. Like you've seen in the past, like even with, um, even with movies like I, like I know Creed or Rocky, before he got into the big fight, you know, he had taken on some um, easy fights first before he got there. Right. So I would have liked to seen him kind of go through that motion there just so she kind of she could have kind of built the relationship with her team. Like and, and you would have kind of seen her grow. Like for me, it was just kind of like crazy to see her go from, you know, four years out, hard drinking, you know, just looking like a frail 
you know, just looking like a frail human being and then jumping back into a championship fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I just needed to see a little bit more there um, as far as build up to make it exciting for me. That's just me, though. Like there was a lot of drama in between, but I just need to see more of that action and more of that build up, more of that training to say, oh, yeah, this this person's getting ready um, for for the big fight. So, yeah. Um, another thing I would say, yeah, you know, again, like this kind of relates to that would be like the relationship. Some of the relationships just came, seem kind of forced at times. I don't know if the chemistry wasn't there, but I just think the relationships were kind of forced. They needed to kind of build it up a little bit more and make it seem realistic because some of them just seemed like they were there to just kind of fill fill in the plot holes and kind of fill in um, just to go through the ABC story. You know, it kind of needed to be a little bit more um, like organic to me. Like after being with somebody for so long, you know, kind of uh, go through those motions and say, OK, this person's been here and been there and done that. But then you can see the the situation that she's been in, like she's probably just looking to, uh, you know, be in the comfort of somebody. Right. Because she's been kicked in the head so many times and just been down and out. Every, like I said, everybody's been just treating her like a dog. So, you know, I could kind of see that. But I, I guess I just mean like they just seem a little bit forced in as far as just, you know, technically as well. They just trying to put something together to put it in there you know what i mean so i um i needed to see a little bit more like i said organic organic there um uh organic chemistry there um let's see what else uh i i think again like i said uh kind of going back to the pacing i want to go back to that i i just feel like it needed a it needed a little bit more um focus on her mentality as a fighter like i know that this kind of focuses on the situation of a of a down and out woman who is uh fighting for you know a son that just came into her life and fighting for not even fighting for like that better better life like a materialistic life but just trying to find herself and find the reasons why she fights and what what can become of that right so it does kind of cover that type of person but i just wanted to see a little bit more of the mental and the spiritual side of um what it takes to be a fighter you know that's just for me you know being such a fan for so long even in boxing it's just like i want to see more of a, them kind of delve into it on especially like why a woman would want to do it you know um just kind of what would what, what goes on in her mind like just needed some more times where she was alone trying to do something that uh that kind of makes her uh, ready to prepare for a fight if you will um what else did i dislike uh, of course i'm a, i'm an old head when it comes to music i really wasn't a big fan of the music so uh yeah that's another thing um uh, music wasn't really hitting to me like i guess you know i need to you know i'm not really up on a lot of the artists today but i think it just needed more of a like a score like i said i'm not a big rocky fan but you know i like the rocky soundtrack you know so i think it needed more of a it needed more of a like a epic type soundtrack to it you know with uh with some good symphonies some good scores and that and that notion um and even some other good hip-hop like i said i'm an old head i needed some more of that hardcore gritty stuff um of uh of you know of, of old or even some jazzy i don't know something like that but uh, i just really wasn't a big fan of the music either um going back to what else what else let me see as far as dislikes dislikes um I probably like I said, I probably have to watch it again. But those are probably like the big ones that, you know, I just really wasn't feeling like I, I, I just think there needed to be more build up to that to that final fight. Like I said, um, after four years out of the game into a championship fight, I, I wanted to see some growth there and make the story a little bit more um, uh, action packed there where, you know, you kind of grow. And at the same time, you know, she's kind of grown with her relationship with her son. Like that's another thing, like even like the close relationship with her son, like I need it. I needed to see a little bit more um, involvement there. Like by the end, you know, everything, you know, spoiler alert kind of works out, but I, I really wanted to see something else there. Like uh, from, from even from her son, like I know that it kind of makes sense about the way he was acting because he hasn't really, you know, he doesn't even know who she is, you know, and then he just had like the one person taken out of his life. You know, just like that, and it's such a drastic change. So I could kind of see where that trauma, where he, you know, where he was a little bit traumatized and wasn't, you know, speaking. Uh, but um, just some about the close relationships there. I just needed to see a little bit more, even with everybody around her, like, like the old man, even in the gym, like 
he seemed there for her, like he was always giving her these looks like he really believed in her. But I wanted to see a little bit more there, like, you know, more talks with him since he was the old head in the gym. Maybe he could have did more talking like he was there in the corner. He would say the right things. But I wanted to see like a relationship outside of the gym, even more so with him than than her main trainer, because it just seemed like he really cared about her from the jump. You know what I mean? Like he wanted like he wasn't just out for one thing. Let's just put it that way. Like he was just he was there because he when she first walked into the gym, spoiler alert, like he already knew who she was. You know, he was like, that's Jackie Justice. And he was always kind of giving her these looks like as she was working out, like he wanted to see her do good. Right. So I wanted to see a little bit more there with the with the old head and Jackie, like a uh, father, like father daughter type relationship there, because it seemed like, you know, he really had good intentions with her because he was even there in in the um in the end you know so i needed i needed to see more relationship there um even with him uh as far as close relationships so yeah um yeah those are the dislikes i had like i said uh music <laughs> pacing of the movie and um just some of the realism there i needed to see a little bit more of growth as far as more fights in between just like i said to bring in more action and more wmma fighters but overall i did enjoy it and um I, I did enjoy it, especially, you know, for a first WMMA, uh, WMMA movie. So if I could rate this movie out of five stars, I would give it a three. I, I give it a three, like I said, because I would definitely watch it again. And um, if you're a fan of WMMA, if you're a fan of uh, mixed martial arts, I definitely recommend you watch it. If you're a fan of, you know, uh, action movies, even, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of like the, the old school movies like um, No Retreat, No Surrender and... Uh, and, and uh, this movie Showdown uh, with Billy Blanks. I'm, I'm a fan of all those type of movies, you know, from back in the day growing up, even like Lionheart. That's what I wanted to talk about too, like close relationships, going back to close relationships, even like in that movie, like Lionheart, like, you know, there was a, there was a situation towards the end. Like, of course he, he developed this relationship with his trainer, you know, who was an ex fighter. And there was just such a crazy twist at the end. It, it kind of made you, feel bad for uh for Lionheart and it kind of pissed, pissed you off about his trainer because you know his trainer had bet against him right so they had developed a nice relationship there where it didn't really seem like force like throughout the movie he was always there with him you know um from you know from um, his first fight to the to the end fight and he was developing a relationship with him that's why it was kind of believable more so even in that movie Lionheart um and then by the end you really you really did feel for him because he bet against him, you know, he bet against his own fighter. So that's why I meant by, um, by close relationships. I needed to see a little bit more there, uh, between even her, like I said, the, the old guy in the gym. So yeah, man, um, uh, that's pretty much all I got on this one. Like I said, three out of five, I recommend you check it out. It's definitely not a perfect movie. It's definitely a good prototype. Like I said, for, um, uh, WMMA movies to come anytime they, you know, do any women more, uh, movies with, uh, more combat sports related stuff. You know, um, I know it's still kind of new to the scene. You know, there was a lot of karate movies back in the day with like Cynthia Rothrock and so on. But like bringing MMA to the forefront with uh, women is still kind of new. And um, I see it's getting kind of mixed reviews. So we don't I don't really know if we'll see it again. Uh, we might since Valentina is like a you know good fight coordinator and director of that. You know, they might bring in some other other movies now. You know, um, Gina Carano has been doing movies in before this. So uh, but this is kind of the one that's been you know, pushed forward and broken to the to the top because, you know, over the over the surface because of, you know, it has a big name attached to it, Halle Berry. So hopefully she directs and produces some more, even with her behind the scene, behind the scenes, behind the camera for some of these other women moving forward. So, yeah, shout out to Invicta FC, UFC and uh, Shannon Knapp. I, you know, I think that was kind of a cool, you know, they were able to attach a lot of these names to the uh, organizations. Um it's, it's definitely good promotion, though. Definitely good promotion when it all comes down to it. So, yeah, guys, if y'all saw the movie, let me know what y'all think. Rate it out of five stars um, in the comments section this time around. You know, just don't tell me what you like and dislike. Yeah, give it a rating. I get my, I give y'all my rating three out of five. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.